So for today's video, we're going to be covering a couple of pieces of information around PS5's features from switching games to friend invites to the mysterious create button. First, let me know in the comments if you think crossplay should be a standard feature next gen for the PlayStation 5. This has been a big debate this generation and there are people in both camps from what I've seen, from people who have friends on other platforms and want it to be a standard, to people who don't want to deal with PC or other platforms but just PlayStation. So let me know in the comments, should crossplay be a standard feature next generation? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into today's story, this information comes from someone who has been wrong and right in the past, so his track record isn't 100%, but I've looked over some of the information he's provided and they seem logical and probably the case, but again, this is a rumor. So diving first into the friend invites feature. Twitter user Tidex stated the following in regards to friend invites on the PlayStation 5. So this is what he stated on Twitter. He has a full on thread going. So party invite thread. Say you're enjoying Godfall on your PlayStation 5. Your buddy sends you a game invite to let's say Warzone. On screen you get a pop up screen with a live stream from his game. Your PlayStation 5 will start the game in the background and will be ready instantly. If you choose to accept the invite, your previous session will be suspended. We'll list some facts down below. Then he goes on to state some pieces of information. Launching can be set by the user to be automatic or manual. The PS5 will have thorough security to safeguard users. You can adjust settings to allow auto launching. Default is user accept and click. Developers can choose what is in the pop-up window such as a logo or the live stream. Users can disable the window for text prompt, window for the pop-up or the auto launch feature. Users can turn on and off like notifications this generation. So then he goes on to provide an example with a multiplayer online game stating the following. Dependent on network, when a multiplayer race is selected, it's instantaneous. This is down to the PS5 speed and the network. In theory, if both users have 10 to 20 megabytes per second, then the background launch will be around 5 seconds. Now, when I first read this, I'm not sure if he meant to say it's not instantaneous because it's dependent on the network usage. So if somebody has a slow internet speed, then of course it's going to take more than a few seconds to get that game going. But he states it as it will be instantaneous, but then goes on to state that if both users have 10 to 20 megabits per second, then it will be around five seconds for you to be able to jump into the game. But he continues on to state, the primary screen will go into rest mode, suspended state, and the launch game will become primary. Once completed, the suspended screen will switch back. Users can modify a system to the way they would like it all to work. So some of this information lines up with what was shared via the PlayStation patent that came out earlier this year, which described a picture-in-picture -picture interface via a friend invites system. But here we have some more details, such as developers having the option to decide what's in the pop-up screen, such as a logo or an actual stream of the other player. Users can also pretty much customize this as much as they want from turning off the auto launch which launches the game in the background. The default here seems to be auto launch is off to turning off the pop-ups themselves from the different types of pop-ups that you can get from what I'm reading here. Now, the part that I found more interesting was the launch of an online racing game. I've wondered how internet would factor into all of this instantaneous conversation and it seems to have an effect to a certain degree to launch an online game or an online match, which of course makes sense. The PS5 won't necessarily make your internet faster just because the console itself is faster. I'm interested to see this tested out fully when the console launches later this year. But beyond the friend invites feature, Tidex also talked about the create button on the DualSense controller and what he described was also guessed by others, but again, he seems to confirm it reading his tweet so what's up with the create button 
it functions pretty much as the share button does today new is the creation studio a suspended app that's instant when you want to use it real-time editing tool at your fingertips resembles the nvidia shadow play now i'm not familiar with shadow play so i had to look it up and from what i saw it seems to do a lot of what the ps4 does with recording gameplay and screenshotting etc but there were some things i saw that the ps4 doesn't have like automatic gif making and the custom overlays for live streams which the ps4 doesn't have out of the gate shadow play also seems to have heavier customization options altogether regardless he stated that it resembles shadow play so ui wise it could be similar but it seems as though creation studio which tidex also mentions is a name that could change is the spiritual successor to the share factory on ps4 which hasn't been getting much love over the years honestly but on the ps5 it sounds like it'll be front and center i'm curious though to see how they'll change it up to make it more quick and user friendly on the fly that'll be interesting to see but you guys let me know if you're excited about the friend invites and create button features that are coming to the ps5 let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with need for speed i'm honestly trying many different ways to talk about speed because that's the primary focus of the playstation 5 and i'm I'm excited for it. So if you are as well, destroy the comment section with need for speed. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.